there's no shortage of mysteries out there. So from a supposed mythical creature sighted to a ghost caught on camera, here we have five unsolved mysteries. The Bunyip is a creature of Aboriginal mythology. It lives in the swamps, billabongs, creeks, riverbeds and waterholes of Australia. The Bunyip has many descriptions. Some say it has a dog-like face, dark fur, a horse-like tail, flippers and a duck-like bill. Others think the creature has an appearance similar to a snake with a man and a beard. Some even think the Bunyip is actually a prehistoric marsupial. This creature is described to eat livestock in several Aboriginal bedtime stories, if they come close enough to the water's edge. One of the first recorded accounts of the Bunyip took place in 1818, when James Meehan and explorer Hamilton Hume both found enormous bones in Lake Bathurst, located in southwest Wales of Australia. They described a creature similar to a manatee or a hippopotamus. In the mid-1830s, George Rankin discovered fossil bones in the Wellington Caves located in New South Wales of Australia, later to be followed by explorer Thomas Mitchell. In 1847, a strange skull was found near Boronald in New South Wales. It was later put on exhibition at the Australian Museum in Sydney. The skull was later proven to be only the cranium of a disfigured horse or calf. It's hard to tell what the bunyip looks like because of its claims of variations, but all sightings agree that it's definitely an aquatic mammal. Mexico is a country full of old myths and tales, and many of the people living here believe in the supernatural. A duende is a fairy or goblin-like mythical creature from Latin America and Filipino folklore. Duendes may also have some traits similar to goblins. The word is often considered to be the Spanish and Portuguese equivalent of the English word sprite. In Hispanic folklore of Mexico in the American Southwest, duendes are known as gnome-like creatures who live inside the walls of homes, especially in the bedroom walls of young children. They are known for taking items from young children. They appear at night when children are sometimes playing with a ball, and they watch the children and later make their appearance and confront the children. This is why so many of these mysterious creatures have been spotted when children have been playing football. Not much is really known about these creatures even though so many believe in them. Some say they're evil while others believe they're actually helpers, suggesting that if you're lost these tiny creatures will help you find your way home. Although many may just brush these sightings off as being fake, it seems that many people across Mexico are encountering these little creatures, with some even capturing them on film. Some people though are not entirely won over. Some have suggested these are just normal animals such as a cat or a dog, or even suggesting the footage has been manipulated. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments what you think it is. Shadow People The paranormal phenomenon of shadow people or shadow men just seen out of sight, in the blink of an eye or lurking in the corner of the room are becoming an interesting area of study for many, precisely because we don't quite know what these shadow beings are. There's a huge number of theories, some suggesting these black shadows are simply ghosts taking on a darker form, while other theories lean more towards the idea that they're time travellers, or even beings from an interdimensional place. Explanations for what shadow people actually are differ depending on where you look, but from a scientific perspective, when we see these figures it's simply our minds filling in the blank spaces and creating something human-like from the shapes that we can see. Another explanation comes from night terrors. Much of the folklore surrounding shadow men centers on stories of people waking up after feeling pressure on their chest, a heaviness in the air and a deep fear. When they awaken, that fear continues as they're completely unable to move and feel paralysed. Often this is accompanied by sightings of shadow persons sitting on their chest or lurking in the corners of their room. This is the most widely accepted scientific explanation for this phenomenon, 
but of course there are many scenarios involving shadow people that can't be explained away so easily. In this video we see what appears to be real shadow people. With its long and intriguing past, it's not surprising that the St Augustine Lighthouse has gained a haunted reputation. Many who visited worked here and others who live close by have reported experiencing something mysterious and just plain eerie. One of the lighthouse's first keepers was a man named Peter. He was known for his meticulous eye and watchful manner of maintaining the lighthouse. He was also known for his love of cigars, and is one of the first ghosts that people report coming in contact with. Over the years, the smell of Peter's cigar has been detected by many, including staff members and guests. Vegan Helms, a cell phone tower technician didn't expect to see what he did one August afternoon while working on a 300 foot self-support tower close to St Augustine in Florida. Helms' co-worker Johnny Jones took a picture of him at about 250 feet with the infamous St Augustine lighthouse in the background, and snapped another one with the lighthouse zoomed in. After the picture was taken, Helms and Jones had noticed something in the background. It shows what appears to be a ghostly woman. Megalodon Sightings Not only was Megalodon the biggest prehistoric shark that ever lived, it was the largest marine predator in the history of the planet. This giant predator would have had a huge impact on the structure of marine communities. Most current scientifically accepted estimates for the Megalodon's maximum size fall into the 50 to 60 foot range, with a weight of 50 to 70 tons. The Megalodon is believed to have had the most powerful bite of any animal. Computer models estimate the Megalodon's bite force between 24,000 to 40,000 pounds. This is 6 to 10 times that of the great white shark and modern crocodiles. This is also 2 to 3 times that of the estimated bite force of Tyrannosaurus rex and the large mosasaurs. This enormous bite force could bite a whale in half. Researchers have also estimated the Megalodon could bite a car in half. Fossil evidence shows that the Megalodon primarily fed on large marine mammals including whales, dolphins, sea lions, dugons as well as sea turtles and large fish. Younger Megalodon sharks probably concentrated on smaller prey, while a 60 foot adult Megalodon would have been able to prey upon larger whales. In 1875, the British ship HMS Challenger pulled up a pair of Megalodon teeth from a seabed. In 1959, Dr. Terensky of London's Queen Mary College attempted to date the teeth by studying the buildup of manganese dark side layer on each tooth. Through examining manganese dark side deposition, it was determined the teeth were 11,000 to 24,000 years old. If correct, those findings would indicate at the very least Megalodons may have gone extinct far later than previously thought. However, manganese dark side dating is often unreliable, particularly in dating shark teeth. The Black Demon of Cortez is believed to be a massive black shark seen off of Mexico's Baji coast. Some reports allege the giant shark may even be comparable in size to the ancient Megalodon. In one alleged encounter, fisherman Eric Mack reported that the Black Demon rocked his boat, while its towering tail stuck five feet out of the water. Of course, if the black demon is real, that doesn't mean it's a megalodon. It could easily be a plankton-eating whale shark or even a large great white. 
As fun as it is to imagine these stories are evidence that the Megalodon is still alive, that's just not the case. Megan Balk, a Megalodon researcher at the University of New Mexico said the following, There is no doubt in the scientific community that Megalodon is extinct. She explains that Megalodon stayed close to the coast, so if they were still alive today we'd know. It would be hard to miss a 50 foot plus super predator roaming the shores, but there are those that insist they're still alive today. So that was 5 Unsolved Mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.